Hey, and welcome to Don't Be Dumb. I'm Josh Clark. Thank you for joining me. Have you ever heard that if you're buying a house that's supposedly haunted or where a murder or a suicide or a murder-suicide took place that the realtor has to tell you about it? That depends on where you live. See, a house where something violent, like a violent death has occurred, is what's called a stigmatized property. And they can be a lot harder to sell than a non-stigmatized property. In fact, one study found that stigmatized properties take as much as 50% longer to sell and sell for as much as 35% less than non-stigmatized properties. But that's a bargain for you. Some states say that realtors have to disclose a stigmatized properties stigma, while other states don't. It all comes down to a state's interpretation of what's called a material fact. See, material fact is information about a house that would impact a person's decision to buy it or not. Like the material fact that the house is built on a toxic waste dump. Or the material fact that the house used to be a crack house and the new owners can expect drug addicts to show up at their door wanting to smoke crack. Those are material facts. But not all states agree that rumors of a haunting or a house's history as the setting for a murder-suicide constitutes a material fact. In some states, a realtor does have to tell a potential buyer about something like that. For example, in California, if a violent death took place in a house within the last three years, the realtor has to tell you. But in other states, they don't have to tell you jack. But even in states where you don't legally have to disclose a stigmatized property's haunted house jam, you can still be sued by a buyer who finds out afterwards and is none too happy. So most realtors suggest that you err on the side of caution and just get it out there. So the next time somebody says to you, hey, you better disclose the fact that your house is haunted when you sell it or else you'll go to jail. You set them straight and tell them Josh sent you. Thank you for joining me. Do you have a suggestion for an episode of Don't Be Dumb? Leave it in the comments below. You can also like this video or subscribe or share it. I don't care. <laughs>